What's up everybody, Ryan Draving here, and today we're gonna dig into LinkedIn and how to use the power of search. Now I'm gonna show you this on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, but you can use the same tactics on regular LinkedIn search. Just know that it's not quite as powerful as you'll get on LinkedIn Sales Navigator because you have fewer filters and your searches have to be a little bit shorter than they do on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So you can see here, I've got accounts pulled up, which really means companies in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I've got food and beverage retail, and I've got vegetarian as a keyword uh, that I'm looking for. So well, let's just imagine that I'm a business that's looking to sell to companies that do vegan and vegetarian foods, and I sell databases of all the vegans and vegetarians out there. Um, very exciting. And so uh, from this, what we can see is, all right, I've got 58 results. Well, you know, I could do that and then I can search again and say, okay, well, I also wanna know anyone who's got vegan in their, uh, in, in their description within food and beverage. Okay, so here I've got 247. But now if I, if I search for them separately, I'm gonna end up with duplicates. Anyone who mentions vegetarian and vegan is gonna be in both lists, right? So what I wanna do with my power search is type in vegan or, in all caps, vegetarian. Vegetarian, <laughs> here we go. Or vegan or vegetarian. Search for it now. Now I've got 277 results instead of, I think it would have been like uh, uh, close to 300 otherwise. So I've eliminated some extra unnecessary work for myself, which with a small, tiny market like this doesn't matter too much, but as you start to get to larger markets, thousands of results, it starts to get complicated. All right, so what if I wanna do vegan or vegetarian, but I wanna make sure that I'm not getting anyone who is a, uh, a marketing agency for vegan and vegetarian who maybe categorize themselves as industry food and beverage, right? Um, then I might type in not and then put agency. And you can see it, it <laughs> removed one result there. Um, and then I might also just add in, you know, not agency or firm uh, or marketing group, right? Now, I don't know if, if any of them will be firm there you go, you can see that by adding firm and marketing group in there, I reduced it to 272. Now the interesting thing here that we're looking at is the structure of this nesting of queries, right? So I'm telling LinkedIn, I wanna see vegan or vegetarian, but I don't wanna see anyone who is either agency or firm or marketing group. Now note how I put the marketing group here, we've got double quotes around it because that is a phrase, right? So we don't wanna confuse LinkedIn, we want them to know that that's just one of the items in this list, even though it's two words. So there's one other query parameter that we can add in, and that is end, right? So here we might say, I want vegan and vegetarian. When someone that talks about both, right? And you can see it drastically narrows down my results, um, but I don't want anyone from agency or firm or marketing group. Great, so we've narrowed that down further. You can use this same technique on leads, which in LinkedIn's regular search are called contacts. Um, and you can use it both in like regular LinkedIn search and on Sales Navigator. So end or not parentheses and double quotes are your best friends when you're doing a LinkedIn search. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.